We've been busy, busy, busy. This is going to be episode 24. Been doing lots of stuff on the inside of the car. Take it away, Dean. Oh, I'm up. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was drifting off there. Uh, more odds and ends, mainly interior stuff. Hopefully, it's Thursday night, so hopefully tomorrow our rings show up, our new and improved rings. And uh, maybe we'll get the engine together this weekend, but I have a ton of work to do on my commercial truck, so don't hold your breath. <laughs> Looks like... Look at this paint shop here. There is a whole pile of parts freshly painted. And if you wonder why Shauna is always smiling, it's because she's stoned on paint fumes. <laughs> it's a little cooler today, so she did all, all this indoors. And that would be why she's clueless. <laughs> and here we are with the interior. Shauna did some more painting uh, today. She had problems with this area with uh, fish eyes, which is usually a contamination. So she cleaned it all up again and sprayed it. And she says it's not perfect. And I said, well, you know what? No one's even going to notice or see it. So she's got everything painted up. So we can probably... Leave it at that and go with uh, um, peeling all this paper off. What do you guys think? Is that going to suffice for Randy, the whale? Randy, I'm not sure what was on sale at Canadian Tire, but I'm sure you could grab a flyer. Randy, we'll save you that flyer. <laughs> so here's the door panel of the car. And we've got to replace this backing board. As you can see, the bottom is just chewed right off and shredded. And so, but Shauna was just looking on the back side and we can see some blue material there. So we're thinking that maybe it was upholstered, which is quite common. That's what they did. They might have upholstered right over top. So we're probably going to peel some of that off and just have a look to see what it looks like. But either way, the bottoms, well, no, the bottom will be just carpet. So you never know, maybe the blue panel's minty underneath, but... I doubt it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, time to strip away the flyers and uh, see what we end up with. Kind of looks like Shauna just used whatever was in reach. Whatever was in she's the recycling got, bin. She's got plastic, she's got newspapers, she's got toilet I, paper towel rolls. I got some coupons. <laughs> coupons. Uh, Wendy's. Wendy's. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. Or Dave. Or Dave. Yeah, or Dave. <laughs> so we'll get this uh, dash all cleared away. And then we'll strip some more. We're going to take all the door panels off. And next monday or tuesday we're going to go into the upholsterer and he wants to look at the door panels and measure see where the door panels are white up top that's going to be blue so he got all the blue vinyl that he could from his supplier and then the rest is on back order so he's kind of curious he wants to measure out to see if he's got enough for everything and then um and Shauna got another sample of carpet in the mail today for color and it looks like she likes that one the best and that's out of a place I think it's called NOS NOS what I think it's called reproductions and it's from NOS reproductions I think so and oh. it's in Ontario it's in Ontario Canada so uh we're probably going to order the carpet through them in the color sample that she liked and then we'll buy I don't know how many yards of just plain carpet material because we got all the door panels in the back, we got all the seat backs, we got all the cargo area in the back all to do in blue carpet. So, um, so yeah, that's that. And incidentally, the vinyl uh, color is, and actually this color, is from the Belvedere. Oh, from Mad Max. So from she Max. she kind of stole my color selection, and she's riding on Mad Max's coattails. I think <laughs> isn't that what they say? Sure. Or if we were kids, you'd be like a copycat. Yeah, that's right. Oh, look at this. Ah, uh, we'll let her get away with it this time, I guess. Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, look at that. 
not a speck of blue paint on it, I might add. Yeah, that's a whole bunch of glue residue though. Oh, that, that needs to be cleaned. That's just dirty. I didn't get that far. Okay. Okay. It's like Christmas. <laughs> I actually like the um, the darker and then this. The two-tone? Yeah. That probably looked good. Yeah, I think so. I think a lot of, I mean, we try and match up colors to, to make it all, you know, uniform somewhat. But from the factory, you know, the plastic and then the vinyl and then the carpet and headliner, everything was... It may have been blue, but it was all different shades. They were never exactly identical. So I'm sure anything we do is going to be acceptable. Well, I mean, look at it, right? And then we had some pictures sent and to us. an improvement. Uh, from a guy in Edmonton, uh, Daryl. Daryl. Yep. And uh, we were just looking at his pictures of his seats just for upholstery patterns. Um, so it's very similar to what we got. Uh, but anyway, we're not going for a restoration, so we can, you know, if we can mimic what the original was like, then that's good enough. I think maybe I'll switch you sides, Shauna. Okay. Okay, we switch sides. You can do the other side. Oh, don't, work, sure, don't work too hard, dear. I'm sure it's heavy, this <laughs> camera. I'm sure a lot of this will probably just fast forward with music anyway. No, because this is... I don't want to put our our viewers to sleep. This is exciting. This is like, like Chris Christmas. It's like Christmas. Oh, you missed a spot. Really? I may, I may have. No, it looks fine. It's very hard to tell when you're in here. The Put vinyl's in good shape. It's got a little split by one of the AC vents, but overall it's decent. Yeah. I mean, good enough for us. Well, I mean... <laughs> Good enough, good enough for the girl I go with. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we've got um, more paper in the glove box. I'd get it, but I'm holding the camera. Yeah, I know. You need to strain yourself. Uh, looking at that, we'll probably... Oh, no, the, the, the heater core is on the outside, but what we're probably going to source one of oh, them. Oh, look at that. That's the vents. They did they do that by a cable or? I don't know. Don't push on it too much. It's dirty. I don't know anything it's about full the of, 64 AC setup. It's full of uck. And uh, do, do, do. yeah, from what I can see, the wiring behind the gauge cluster there doesn't look bad. Oh. Like it's not all chopped up and spliced. But it'd probably have to clean all the connections and all the grounds. Usually, where the problems arise. Look at that, hey! Oh, is there um, an ashtray door, or do we not have that under the radio? Did you paint that separate? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look through my parts. It could. Do you it remember could... taking that apart? I do not. But like I said. Um, I thought you saw. I thought you has, said something was missing. So I wonder if that was missing out of everything. It could be. This is, you know, like we've had this apart for almost since the beginning. So it's our buddy Ken has uh, a '64 Chrysler New Yorker, or maybe it's a Newport, um, with a blue interior. I mean, it's just a parts car. It's pretty rough. But okay. he said he could help ourselves to any of the parts we need. So maybe. Uh, Look how pretty. Maybe um, in a couple months, we'll take a road trip out there and see what he's got for that. Um, he has a car of mine that he's been working on for a while. He's a car restorer and an auto body and paint guy. Anyway, it's a 69 Charger, and um, it'll be due for pickup here in the spring. So we'll film that. You'll see that. He lives about eight hours away. Um, anyway, uh, and then... So we're going to bring our 70 Super B to him. He's going to put quarter panels and a trunk floor and some other stuff. And then we'll bring the charger back. But anyway, while we're out there picking up the charger, we could have a look at his parts car and, uh, and see what he's got for us.
uh, one of our viewers had mentioned he asked if the glove box had a dent in it, and it does. It has a crease like somebody's foot hit it or something. And uh, I'm sure that kid got a beating back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so that that shouldn't be hard to find. That's not a part that usually goes bad or rusts out, so maybe Ken's car has a nice... Um, glove box there that we can take so and seat belts and seat belts yeah so it'll just basically be a, a mix and match i bought blue seat belts out of from classic industries for the belvedere oh yeah yeah with a nice chrome buckle that looks retro well we'll see if we can get used ones first okay so this is that's her the grand reveal um the vinyl the padded part has to be clean so it doesn't it's dusty and dirty but anyway, Shauna's got everything painted up there. And you, I'm not sure if you remember, but this whole section here and going up was uh, red oxide primer for yeah, some from reason. Yeah, here over. Yeah, from there over. So um, anyway, yeah, it's looking good. So we got to strip the door panels out and these Whoosh. center dividers. These are plastic here. They've got to be painted blue as well. So that and then we'll take the door panels up today so one thing i'm going to talk over with joel the upholstery guy is the buttons on these seats here if you can see how deep they are kind of not sure if it shows up in in the video too well but the, the plea or the the indents from the buttons are so deep it almost reminds me of a 70s couch or something so I, uh, I'd like to put buttons in there. Shauna wasn't sure. and But just make them not so pushed in so they resemble the stock more. It'd look uh, probably a little better. The big reveal. Shauna's on her archaeological dig here. She Pretty blue. Took off the aluminum panel, which just has little bendy tabs for the backside. And then somebody had glued on wood, so she's going to take that off. Hopefully the aluminum's in decent shape. I noticed a big dent here already. But there's some of the blue material. So this isn't, this isn't factory, this mess here. No, so she's going to try and pop that off and see what kind of shape the upholstery is. I mean, the problem is it could is... very well be minty under here, but we don't know until we uh, get it apart. So the mystery continues. Show us what you got, Shauna. Look at this. Original awesomeness. Looks like they wrote on there just to get their uh, the size. Yeah. yeah. But I might be able to get that off. But mm, look at they all those black though they stapled on the front side. Yeah. Oh no, that's behind that panel, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So we might be we. I mean. You never know. I don't know how much I can get this clean, but. That sure looks neat. It's got the, the stock embossing on there. Yeah, and then the New I'm Yorker. Sure. Yeah, the New Yorker emblem goes through there. Yeah. But, of course, it'll be a different color than the... This looks lighter than the upholstery you picked for the seats. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll, well see what it looks like. But this is... Give them something to work with anyways. This is neat. Um, I heard someone getting all excited over here. She's digging into the armrest. It had black vinyl over top, and now she's going to see what's underneath. Sure looks blue to me. It does. Just a little bit of a hiccup right there. Why? Why would you cover up that? Like two well, inches on, I guess. Black. <laughs> yeah, just... But usually someone would just, you know, dye it. Look at that. I wonder what the top surface looks like mm -hmm. as far as splits or anything. So now the upholsterer goes going to town. I'll come back and show you the finished result. It's got some Okay. Bit of wear this there. This is the finished result. So yeah. Typical. It is vinyl, eh? That's soft vinyl, padded vinyl. So it is split there. 
so definitely not minty. You kind of suspect that maybe it wouldn't be. But you know what? That's so cool. Yeah, maybe he can peel this off and do it, or if he's going to go over top just the same, I don't know. Well, at least he's got the original one to follow instead of this mess. Yeah. And if you look at the grain they use, eh, this is just your typical boat material. You know, yeah. the, the, the grain is totally different than what factory would have been. So it just looks, to me, it just looks so cheap. Yes. Cheap and aftermarket, you know. We have gotten all the door panels out. There was some question as to whether we could get all the reaper or the, the upholstery that somebody did off and you know maybe use the blue underneath but the cardboard back into the panels is so um, warped and rotten. From the factory you see this glue line and it goes all the way around and there was plastic poly and that protected you know any rainwater coming in protected the the back of the cardboard panel from splash it must be glued but on. there was none of that plastic present when we pulled these door panels apart so which one did i have so this is the passenger door we thought oh yeah that doesn't look bad <laughs> but this is what you get it's just total mold and rot so the upholstery guy and a friend of ours vic uh, has done the made door panels in the past so you can buy this material in a four by eight sheet at the hardware store and the upholstery guy says he can sew and staple right through it so this metal curved ridge at the top where the cat whister goes and stuff so we'll uh, he'll have to mount that we'll we'll trace this out for the pattern and then we'll have to uh, get all our clip holes in the right position and then he can staple the, the top piece onto the new cardboard and then have a nice flat non-warped panel as you can see how warped that is here he can have a nice fresh panel to work with so probably this weekend maybe we'll have to go and get a, a sheet of that and maybe trace this out and see what we can do we, Shauna and I neither have done any of this before um, I've always just bought reproduction door panels for my newer cars because you know they're available but this old stuff it just isn't so I think it'll look good I mean I didn't think the wood looked bad in there I thought you know when the woods in good shape like that it's actually pretty sharp looking but three of the door four doors the wood was just horrible and made it look ugly and Shauna wants to go back to the way it was so that's the way it'll be. An eighth of an inch thick. Okay well Shauna corrected me this is kind of a cardboard material she says the stuff we're going to get from the hardware store is a real thin wood and that's what the upholstery guy uh, recommended so anyway I was wrong <laughs> again <laughs> and she let me know it. <laughs> <laughs> Next is to get these, where are we here? These plastic divider panels out. It's one on each side and you can see that it was blue and it was painted black. This one's kind of rough, it's got a crack here and you know we might have to find one down the road. It'd be the same as any Ford or hardtop. But it's really thin plastic, like it is thin. But there's a couple screws, one here and I think one on the back side and maybe one on the bottom. I'll try and get those out without destroying them. So if I do, Shauna will just kill me. So there's just a screw on that side, and I think there's two on the back side. And that whole little panel slides right up. Now they go open the back door. That's how the other one did. And then there'll be two screws you can get from inside there. Yeah. <coughs> I think there's just, is there two back there? Yeah. yeah. Then I think it just slides up, so maybe we can it? find one of these that are in good shape and it doesn't matter what color, we'll just dye it or spray it, I mean. Spray it, yeah. 
This one's a little chewed, but Man, probably sure. typical of the driver's side, right? There's so much more. It's so flimsy. That it amazes is, yeah, me. Yeah, it's just really. So this whole thing should slide up. Oh, a rubber. So that's it. Ew. It's just a uh, panel. So there's some I'll sort have to of try and clean that. I don't know how. Mouse nest. In mouse the nest in there. Bleh. I don't know how we're gonna get the black off because. I think it's one of those scenarios you could probably just primer that. I could just flake it off and just prime it or I don't know, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll have to figure it out. I don't know if paint thinner would eat that or what. Yeah, it would. There is a little trim panel gutter sort of thing that runs the uh, length of the door opening here and it goes behind here and all the way back to the back wheelhouse. I'm gonna remove those now because I'm gonna to have to get busy with these floors and I believe, I'm gonna see what the, we got for rust under there. I'm sure it's not pretty. And when I'm done, it won't be pretty either, but at least it'll be solid metal that we cover up with dynamat and carpet. Only the roadkill underneath will be able to see it. I unscrewed the panel, just Two screws, one front, one back, just pops right off. And the panel itself is in decent shape. In fact, if you look close, you can see it's galvanized. So that's kind of nice. But even galvanized after 60 years, it gets a little crusty. But this is what I was thinking here, where the floor comes up. You get all this rat poop here. I might have to butt my uh, patch panel right against the edge or something. But... Uh, and then, of course, the purpose of that cover is to protect wiring. So I have a feeling the wiring in this car is going to be a good time. Anyway, I'm going to back panel off here uh, for the same reason, just to see what, how much rest is underneath. Wow. Being a power window car, we are going to have to pull all these motors out and probably go through them. I'm not sure if they can be rebuilt or how that's going to work, so... And then, of course, lubricate all the tracks and pivots and stuff. And um, check all the wiring. I know some of the switches aren't that great. Uh, uh, the switch part that goes on, the, the, the switch has no spring-loaded, you know, return to center. It just flops around. So we'll have to pull those apart, too. So here we are, almost the end of February. And... Still have a long, long way to go, so uh, I think Shauna's going to have to pick up the pace. <laughs> You're going to get backlash for that one. <laughs> Here's the switches, uh, the master switch and then a couple of the door switch. And this is what I was talking about. This thing just uh, flops around, you know, it doesn't have any... Doesn't feel like it's attached to anything. And then this one here is spring loaded and it returns to center. So, probably have to pry this back piece off, these little clips right here, and see what's going on in there. I don't know if they're fixable or not. I'm sure they've used them in hundreds of thousands of cars for quite a few years. So, we might have to source some new ones that uh, don't do that. That's a wrap for tonight. Hopefully, tomorrow being Friday, we'll come back out and come out here and do a bit more. If I can get her off the couch. Mm. She's not too motivated with mm. this car. Mm.